Ian, I love hearing Farouk and Bradshaw's road story slash ribs, but why do they pick on Theodore Long every time? And was Dutch a road buddy of Bradshaw and Farouk back in the day? And does Dutch have road stories of ribs of JBL and Farouk and their friends? Uh, I did travel with JBL. That was early JBL before he got as crazy as he was later on. Uh, why do they pick on Teddy Long? Yeah, uh, why not? I suppose well, he was the, the reason, third one in the car. Well, the reason they picked on him is because they liked him. And they both enjoyed ribbing him. And Teddy can rib back. So it wasn't like a, a, a one-way ribbing session because Teddy could give as, as, as much as he could take. And when somebody gets ribbed like that, uh, you got to say, well, if he's in the car with them, they like him. Otherwise, he would not be in the car with them. And they rib him so long, it's a joke. And, and Teddy enjoyed it. Uh, JBL enjoyed it. You know, Farouk enjoyed it. So I, I just I just marked that down to friendship and working together. What was your other question? Uh, well, actually, I was going to ask this. Uh, how much time did you spend with Ron Simmons particularly? Not that much. But he was a great, great guy. I used to talk to him about Florida State football. Because uh, he was there in the Bobby Bowden era. You got to be a football fan to, to to understand this. But he played Clemson. That was a huge, huge rivalry between them. And he would play and he would talk about the, the Clemson teams. And he was an All American at Florida State at nose guard. And he wasn't really that, that big. He was about maybe six foot, about 5'11, and about 260. But nobody could move him. So he was a great, great football player. And uh, I used to talk to him about his Florida State days, which which just uh, I remember him when I was a kid. So and when he got there and then he got into wrestling, I started following him. I think he went to Florida first, Florida Championship Wrestling. And then uh, then he got with WWE and did great with them. He was the first cha first black champion. I believe so for WCW he was um, in 92, I think. Uh, when he came to the WWF in 96, as you say, WCW's first black champion, um, I think he, he retired his uh, uh, shirt, didn't he, at Florida State. And then he comes yeah. into the WWF in 1996 and they say, uh, you're going to be the black Spartacus. And they're going to give him that blue powder blue helmet and the whole bit. Do you remember that outfit? I don't remember that. What? But Ron, Ron I, I don't remember any of that. But he came in in 96. Yeah. Well, he, he got with, uh, he got with JBL after that. Uh, but did he turn down the Spartacus deal? No, he didn't. And in fact, I'm going to show you a photo. So one, uh, that's just for the people at home. And two, that's what they dressed him up like. Eh. He was the... Well, if it he, if he'd have kept the same ring work, he may have gotten over. But I'm, they should have went Ron Simmons from the beginning because he had history. Hmm. What are you going to what are you going to do with that history? Just write it off, or you're going to have to you're going to have to let it out sometime. 